The XM Studios Legendary Beast one third scale Thor has entered the secret sanctuary and he's a big fella. Hey guys, welcome back to the sanctuary. If you've been here for a while, you know I am not really a one third scale collector. Uh, most of my pieces are a quarter scale, some are one sixth from tweeter head, but one third scale, not so much. Uh, I do have the prime one Justice League Batman, the Batfleck, just because it's so awesome. Thought about selling it recently and then decided to keep it because he's just too awesome. But then this thing came along and, you know, I love the head sculpts. They're fantastic. I love the pose, blah, blah, blah. But it was the base that absolutely blew me away. I've never seen a base this intricate, so detailed, that tells a story as with this piece. So after thinking about it for a long time, I finally went for it and pre-ordered them. And I'm really happy to get them today. Let's take a look. All right, we get three head sculpts with this piece. This is his traditional non-bearded helmeted portrait which I like a lot. Very intense. Hair looks good. They uh, provided two sets of the feathers in case you break one. Thought that was very kind of them. Looks great. Traditional costume. Again, this is kind of the classic line from Legendary Beast. We've already had the Captain America. Now we get Thor. We've got Magneto coming up. And uh, they've already said that they are going to do an Iron Man. They are going to do a Hulk. My God, I can't imagine how enormous that's going to be. The musculature was another selling point. I think it looks really, really cool. I don't usually uh, double up on characters in different scales. I already have the Sideshow Thor maquette, which I think is also a great piece. But uh, this one just had so much presence, I decided to, to go for it. Looks really, really good. You get uh, two hammers. You can a left-handed hammer or a right-handed hammer, so you can switch it up. Thought that was kind of them. The yellow looks cool. It's kind of striking. And then we have the axe. I, I read someone on Statue Forum who was concerned that the magnet might be weak on the axe hand. And I'll be honest with you, when I first put it on, I put it on wrong. Um, I had the blade more this way. And yeah, it, it felt loose because I was doing it wrong. But once I looked at pictures and realized it's supposed to be like this, the magnet was totally fine. I'm not worried at all about it falling out. So that's a tip for you. That's the way it's supposed to go. And the magnet will work just fine. The cape, the big old sculpted cape, heavy. Looks really good. I'm really happy that this piece arrived with no problems. Really happy about that. The pose is interesting, interesting from the side because he is leaning forward. Try to give you a long shot here. That is intentional. It's not the statue's not leaning. It's intentionally leaning forward. The cape kind of balances that out. It's also kind of a uh, come at me kind of pose. It's, you know, he's leaning forward into battle, essentially, I think but it works. Boots look good. I'm really digging the yellow. It really offsets well with the blue and the black and the red and that killer portrait. All right, let's talk about the base. The base is absolutely huge. Uh, if you measure it from the top, it's about 17.5 inches, but then you've got, you know, lots of stuff on the sides that come out. I mean, this comes out 
at least like an inch and a quarter, not an inch and a half. So if you're trying to fit it into a case or something, it's going to be more than 18 inches. It might be as much as 20. But look at the detail here. Just going to spin this slowly. I really wish that we would get, you know, we get a lot of big bases, but not many of them need to be big. Not many of them tell a story. This one really does. And boy, oh boy, it's so cool. <laughs> Seriously, I would buy more large scale pieces or pieces with large bases, let me put it that way, if the base was this good. There are about four or five small pieces of the space that come off separately and then they um, key in magnetically. It was actually kind of fun finding where they go. <laughs> it's not a difficult assembly at all. It's just heavy, so you have to be ready for that. Look at the detail on that snake. It's just awesome. All right, let's look at one of the other heads. Here's the bearded portrait. And I gotta be honest, this one uh, is pretty serious competition in my mind as to which one is best. Um, maybe I'll switch them out from time to time, which I actually do. I do switch out uh, portraits on my pieces quite often just to make them look a little fresh. Uh, this is the exact same portrait. The hair is identical. Um, I think the sculpt of the face is identical, I think. Uh, it's just the addition of the beard. But it looks really cool. It's like a more mature Thor. I really like it a lot. Yeah, those eyes look cool. And here's the bonus portrait. At least they call it the bonus portrait. Um, I think everyone got this one, so I'm not sure that it's actually a bonus. Um, I'm not 100% crazy about the hairline on this one. I, I thought of that when I saw the pictures originally, and now that I have it in hand, maybe it's not as bad as it is in the pictures, but it looks a little bit like he's wearing a wig. Uh, there's something about the hairline that just looks too separated from his forehead. So this one will probably stay in the box. Uh, I do prefer the helmeted portrait anyway. But shoot, bonus portrait, why not? You also get a closed fist portrait. So if you don't want to have a weapon in each hand, you can just have the closed fist here. Uh, they only provide that for the left hand. There's no right hand closed fist. The right hands both uh, have weapons, either the axe or his hammer. But nice to have this option. And very well sculpted. I realized I didn't give you a good shot of the top of the base, which I think is really awesome. Really like the colors they chose. This kind of marbling effect. So much thought went into this base. I'm really kind of freaked out by how good it is. So good. One warning about this piece, the box is enormous and heavy. It's 91 pounds. Definitely the heaviest box I've ever received. It's the largest box I've ever received, except for maybe a refrigerator. Uh, it's 38 inches tall, 26 inches wide, 20 inches deep. So it's very awkward if you're by yourself. In fact, almost impossible um, by yourself unless you happen to be Thor. Um, I'm alone this weekend. My family is up in Seattle at a wedding and I live on the third floor. UPS delivered this at the base of the stairs. 
So I had to figure out how to get <laughs> how to get this thing up two flights of stairs and eventually decided to open it in our courtyard and bring it up piece by piece. So the base came up then the cape came up then the body came up and then the rest came up. So four trips for this guy but definitely worth it. And I'm looking forward to putting him in my garage shelving unit. He's going right next to the Prime 1 Batfleck, which is odd to have Batman and Thor, but hey, I read comics in the 80s when the DC Marvel crossovers were all the thing. Uh, so it works for me. I don't mind having a Marvel piece next to a, a DC piece. Actually, it's even, <laughs> it's a Marvel comic piece against a DC movie piece. So I'm really crossing the streams. It's chaos in the sanctuary today. Anyway, if you want this piece, it is still available, but I don't think it will be for long. Uh, the edition size is $7.98. I know of at least one distributor that still has it, but he, even his price is starting to inch up a little bit, which is a sure sign that he's running out. So get it while the getting's good if this is something that you want. I think it's a great piece. I think it'll be thought of as a great piece for a very long time. I'm really glad I picked him up. Um, but hurry if you want them. Uh, as for when you'll see me next, I'm on Deadpool Watch Day 24. So uh, if I go out to my balcony, I see the container ships anchored off of Long Beach Harbor, and Deadpool is probably on one of those ships. Even Sideshow doesn't know at this point when Deadpool will arrive, but he's probably my next review. So I'll see you on Statue Forum. I'll see you on Facebook. Um, I'll see you on Rogues Gallery Live. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I noticed recently that I have a lot of people watching my videos, but only about 15% are subscribing. So please subscribe. Um, we hope to bring you some really great content in the near future. And I'm having fun doing it as long as you guys are having fun watching it. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.